Greetings, Grey Witch here. Today I wanted to do a comparison video between the Shitaro and the Psychus bikes. You know, I know they're very expensive bikes, but if you have the money for them and you're kind of wondering, you know, which one of these should I buy? You know, this kind of, you know, kind of breaks it down a little bit more, you know, shows a little bit more detail of which bike can handle which one, you know. I know they're two separate types of bikes. One's a racing bike and one's a chopper, but you know, let me get this going. So first you have the Nagasaki Shitaro. 2.250 million dollars it's ridiculous top speed 230 miles per hour it's not too bad and if you want to get the matching riding alphas 100 an extra hundred ninety thousand dollars you have to complete an adversary mode to get this motorcycle now the LCC Sanctus is you know it's a pretty good chopper it's 1.9 million and has a top speed of 214 miles per hour which is pretty good for a chopper bike you know, this bike is not really designed for racing. It's more designed for just long stretches and, you know, cruising around and stuff like that. All right, so let's look at the Shitaro first. So right out of the gate, this is a very nimble bike. It, you know, it handles straight lines perfectly. You know, no problems with jumps and climbing hills. It does bounce a little bit while uh, taking its landings. And that's because it's a much lighter bike. You know, it's not as light as like the Akuma or the Batty. Let's say it's a little bit lighter than the Puka Chow, you know, like that. But it has no problems taking corners. This, you know, this bike's really designed for racing, so, you know, you tight corners, you might have to slow down just a little bit like the Puka Chow, but, you know, it, it really does really well, which surprised me because for the price of this bike, you know, I was expecting a lot more, but, it, you know, it does do decent. It handles jumps real well. You know, single jumps, no problem. Uh, long, winding corners like right here. You take them at top speed. You can, it's easy to stick in the sweet spot of the track. This bike handles really well, which, you know, believe it or not, surprised me. Uh, like I said, you know, cornering, really good. Mods, kind of limited on the mods. But, you know, even with this triple jump, took it with no problem. All right, so now we have the Sanctus. Now, this bike, you'll notice immediately, can take a straight line like all day long. It has no problem. It climbs decently if you're moving speed. If you're stopped and try to climb a hill, it kind of struggles to do that. It handles landings a lot better than the Shitaro, but it's also a lot heavier. I would say this bike is even heavier than Hakuchao and it does not corner well at all. I had to really slow down to go into some of these corners and some of them even with slowing down, it just, you know, it just cannot handle corners. It's not designed for high speed cornering. You know, this bike is designed for long stretches of road and just, you know, cruising with your sunglasses on and being cool. But, you know, you can work it into the sweet spot. It's just, it's gonna be a lot slower. This bike has a real bad tendency to kick the back tire towards the front tire if you try to turn too hard and you know it'll spin out of control it's, I don't know why it's just too fast of a bike for what it is and for you know single jumps it, it's not too bad it handles you know single jumps handles the landings it's not too bad with you know small jumps like that long sweeping corners you can maintain a pretty decent speed but you know anything really tighter you're gonna kick into it and this double jump I almost didn't make it so it got me really worried about the triple jump that's coming up and you really if you have a long jump you're gonna to have to use uh, you know the stunt jump pullback bar to make it work because I almost did not make this jump even with the stunt jump pull so in conclusion if you're looking for a performance bike and you have the money to do it I would spend it on the Shitaro it is a better performing bike but if you want something cosmetic and you're not really worried about racing and stuff like that then I would spend it on a Sanctus because it looks cool but neither one of these bikes are worth the money that they are being sold for the Shitaro should be at least 900,000 you know just like the drag this bike here the Sanctus should be in the $500,000 range more than that it's just you know it's it's overkill and it's ridiculous but for the money that you're spending on these bikes, it's still not worth it. All right, well, this is Great Witch. I hope it helps you out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.